Hi everybody, government spending is a key component of the aggregate demand equation, which is C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Governments will often spend money to influence the level of economic activity, to influence both short-run and long-run growth. So it's a very, very important part um, of how the economy works, and especially in influencing AD, which is short-run growth, AD shifting right or left. What are the different types of government spending that can take place in the economy? Well, you have got, first of all, current spending. Current spending is just the spending on the maintenance of key public sector services, so the maintenance of the NHS, for example, the maintenance of state schooling, the maintenance of key infrastructures that there might be. Uh, but it's also the payment of public sector wages. So all of the uh, workers that work for the government in the public sector, the payment of their wages would go under current spending. Capital spending is the spending on infrastructure projects. Yeah? So the spending on the building of new hospitals, the building of new schools, the building of new roads, new bridges, new airports, new ports, new railway lines. All of that will count as infrastructure spending, which is capital spending. You've also got welfare spending. This for the UK is the biggest chunk of government spending. Um, and that is spending on benefits and pensions. So in the UK, benefits like unemployment benefit, child support benefit, disability benefit, etc. And pensions to the, uh, to the elderly. That is a big, big chunk. And for many developed countries, this is, a, this is the biggest part of government spending. But also debt interest payments. Debt interest payments, you know, we know that uh, debts for many countries around the world are now spiraling out of control. And any time governments take on more debt, there is interest to pay on that debt. And um, all the interest payments will fall under the debt interest category of government spending. Uh, important for you to know that 1, 2 and 3 would all uh, act as an injection into the circular flow uh, of an economy. But number four would not. So number one, two, and three are all spendings that would shift aggregate demand to the right, whereas debt interest payments would not. Debt interest payments is not a payment that is staying in the country necessarily. It's not an injection into the circular flow of income, into the economy, whereas one, two, and three directly are. Okay? But debt interest payments are a huge sum, right? The opportunity cost of that is ridiculous. In the UK, dentist, debt interest payments yearly are around 50 billion pounds. To put that into context, State schooling is around £90 billion in the, uh, in the UK economy. The NHS costs around £110 billion. Pounds. Yeah, so 50 or £51 billion pounds a year in debt interest carries a huge opportunity cost. But there you go. Um, right, we also need to know some key terms when it comes to government spending. Anytime you're talking about government spending in the economy, these terms I'm sure you're going to be using. And for you, the key difference between a budget deficit and the national debt you need to be aware of too. So let's consider, what is a budget deficit? Well, a budget deficit is where government spending is greater than taxation revenues in a fiscal year, in a year basically. The fiscal year in the UK is between April and April. So crucially, this is borrowing in one year. If the government is spending more than they are receiving in tax revenues, they must be borrowing the difference. But it's borrowing only in one year. Budget surplus is the opposite, so this is where government spending is less than taxation revenues, but again, in a fiscal year, in one year. National debt, on the other hand, how is this, difference to a, how is this different to a budget deficit? Well, this is the total stock of debt over time. It's the total stock of debt, right? So this is a stock concept, we call it, in economics, your total, whereas this is a flow concept, how much debt you have just in one year, okay? So you can say that the national debt is an accumulation of years worth of budget deficits. Yeah. So if you have a budget deficit, when that year is over, you're back to a balanced budget again. Yeah. You start again from zero. Whereas after one year's worth of budget deficit, you are adding towards the total amount of national debt. So five years worth of budget deficits would really increase national debt. Whereas after those, after those years, the budget balance goes back to zero again. Okay. Whereas a country that runs a budget surplus, after one year, the budget balance goes to zero, the national debt will be coming down. All right, so the national debt is total debt over time, the total stock of debt over time, whereas a budget deficit, think of it as debt just in one year. So that covers government spending. Guys, stay tuned for the next video where we look at determinants of net exports. I'll see you then.